C and I are headed out back to do some retrieving work with her puppy Annie and we thought you guys might like to see some of the warm-up drills that we use to kind of grease the groove and get the puppies ready to perform in a more high distraction environment. Uh, so I'll step back here and kind of go through those drills with you. The first drill is just a position drill and so we're going to call the dog into the heel position three to five times. Annie, heel! What we're doing with these exercises is just kind of, you know, covering on our basic skills that we're going to use out back and we're kind of making sure that the dog understands the vocabulary, uh, but even more importantly, we're making sure that each handler understands the proper vocal inflection and posture that goes along with the cue, and so my, pop, my partner can give me feedback if I'm having trouble. Okay, Charlotte. Annie, heel. We keep it simple, kind of low drag, make it fun for everybody. Annie, heel. You can really tell a lot about how good you are at talking to a dog by their attitude when you're doing your warm-up drills. Okay, so we knock the positional drills out real quick and then we start to, you know, move on to the, the generalizing um, aspects of the retrieving session that we're going to do. We want the dogs to retrieve a wide variety of objects. We want them to kind of give us a good effort regardless of the texture and weight. So we use retrieving items of various textures and sizes and weights. We'll start off with a rubber dummy. Now, so right there, like, you know, so that gives Charlotte a little bit of, um, a little bit of feedback. Uh, the dog's a little distracted by the cameraman, so Charlotte's going to have to be a little bit more upbeat with her calling. There we go. Guys, don't always be so quick to judge your dog if they don't respond the way that you think they should. A lot of times it's just kind of you maybe didn't tell them the way, in a way that they understood. Annie, heel. These little warm-up drills prevent a lot of frustration in the field from my perspective. Now I'm going to move on to a weighted, medium-sized plastic dumbbell. Annie, heel. Very nice. Annie, heel. And then we will end with a large canvas weighted dummy. Annie, heel. And the last exercise we'll do um, just kind of reminds the dog that the essence of retrieving is going and getting what I tell them to and bringing it back and delivering it to my hand. Uh, we like to take the chasing aspect out of it so that we can just uh, kind of drill down um, on the dog's understanding that sometimes it's going to be directed to go see things that it didn't necessarily see fall or move, you know, and that way it's, it's kind of its retrieving instinct is not, uh, it's, it, it, it's not brought into play so much. Okay, so Charlotte, just calmly take a retrieving item, hold it, and I'm going to send her. Take it. Very nice. Heel. Very good dog. Another retrieving item, please. And Annie jumped the gun a little bit there, but that's okay. Very nice. So I'm going to remind her, stay there until I, till you know, till you're released. Take it. Very nice. You're such a good dog. Good. Okay, so we got through that whole little warm-up. Uh, set of drills and we had a couple of small hiccups uh, and my dog kind of jumped the gun a little bit on one of the exercises and I think Charlotte did you have a little trouble calling her on one of the okay so what's that tell me that tells me that uh, we need to we need to hit those um, you know we hit the, need to hit those a few more times before we head out back uh, and then maybe I'll lower my expectations in terms of uh, like what I expect from the dog on those aspects of the exercises until I've had a chance to put quite a few more reps in Okay, but that's kind of what, you know, what it looks like before we, what we do before we head out back. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that.